We love cars. We love driving them. It's a pleasure. I'm Robert Worth reporting in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia for the New York Times. Suleiman Nasser Shalouki is 29 years old, married with a son and a daughter, and he races his modified Subaru nearly every weekend night, all night long. It started about five years ago. It existed before, but not many knew about it. It's different from person to person. We learn it as an art. For Saudi Arabia's vast and underemployed generation of young men, these reckless night battles are a rare outlet for exuberance in an ultra-conservative country where the sexes are rigorously kept apart and most public entertainment is illegal. The competitions range from garden variety drag racing to drifting, an extremely dangerous practice in which drivers deliberately spin out and skid sideways at high speeds, sometimes killing themselves and spectators in the process. But racers like Slayman adamantly distinguish themselves from the drifters. You don't drive recklessly, you don't break the rules. We have special places and thank God the group likes and understands these rules. Saudi police have cracked down on racing in general and especially drifting treating all deaths that result from that practice as criminally negligent homicide. Drifters tend to come from poorer, more marginalized classes. Many film their feats of drifting and post them on YouTube. Some young people ask why they risk their lives this way, say it's because of tufush which is a colloquial Arabic word that translates roughly as idleness and desperation. But most racers are more like middle-class young men almost anywhere, reckless and in love with speed. Since we were kids and our fathers used to bring us toy cars, we felt joy. And this is implanted in you when you're little and stays with you when you grow up.